the F-22 is considered the first true fifth generation fighter. And this gives us a good baseline to analyze some of the characteristics that separated the Raptor from its fourth generation cousins, and even those generations that came before that. Born as a child of Cold War military planning, where large numbers of Soviet and American fighters would dogfight for air superiority, the F-22 was the offspring of the Advanced Tactical Fighter, or ATF, program. Planners knew that not only would this airplane have to rule the skies in aerial combat against future fighters, it would also have to be able to survive a modern battlefield with sophisticated integrated air defense and command and control systems. It would need the latest decisive technological advancements to give both the plane and its pilots an unfair advantage in any fight. So the F-22, as winner of the ATF program to succeed the Eagle, would need to provide advancements in all of these areas, as well as others like maintenance, logistics, readiness, and more. And so it did. The F-22 was capable of supercruise, flying at nearly Mach 1.5 without using its afterburners. Its airframe was designed with signature reduction as a primary consideration, including not only shaping to reduce its radar cross-section, but quieting its electronic emissions incorporating a low probability of intercept radar. Its two-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles were hidden in its tail to reduce infrared signature, and so on. And it was given the computational power of a supercomputer, allowing it to process and fuse data from a vast array of sensors to build a composite picture of the battle space for the pilot. It set the standard for the modern fighter, and like the Eagle before it, it is best of class. But time is a cruel mistress, and the F-22 represents design philosophies and technology from the 1980s and 90s, having made its first flight in 1997. Like the Eagle, it remains an incredibly capable platform, offering more than a match for almost any other fighter in the world. But time marches on. And also like the Eagle, the Raptor's successor needs to identify areas of improvement and advancement to remain best in class and stay ahead of competitors. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. It helps us to grow the channel and provide more of this content. And if you love aviation, don't forget to visit us at www.libero.com and browse our catalog of aircraft and aviation subjects.